Hello there. Hoping that everyone is doing great. This is my first tech talk in an international event and I am pretty excited about it. I am thankful to Steve and Treble for giving me this opportunity. Without further ado, I want to welcome you to my session Transforming API Responses How do we handle it? First of all, let me introduce myself. I am Ahmed Shamim Hassan. I am a software engineer from Bangladesh. Since the beginning of my software development career, I mostly worked with PHP and Laravel. I have worked in several local companies and also worked remotely in companies from Europe and USA. Apart from my work, I am passionate about sharing my learnings through writing videos and course contents. Currently, I am focusing on building my own course platform called Megaminds Learning for the local community. Okay, enough about me. Before we start, let me clarify the scope of this talk. As you have already guessed, we will talk about API. In a broader sense, the word API means the interface or the set of strict rules for the available methods or functionalities which would be consumed by API clients. So APIs can mean different things in different contexts. But today we will only focus on web APIs, more precisely RESTful web APIs not grpc graphql or something else i am not going to explain what rest is uh, as i am assuming you are already familiar with it and we will only talk about how we are handling api responses in laravel so let's begin what does it mean by api response transformation we all know that in traditional web applications client sends requests to the server and receives HTML responses in return which we see in the browser. However, in terms of web API, it returns data in other formats like JSON, YML or XML. In PHP or Laravel applications, we fetch data from database and prepare the dynamic content using those data, also commonly known as model. We use view for preparing the final output sent to the browser. That means we don't send the whole model data to the browser or client side. Rather, we are using Vue to decide what should be sent and how it would look like. Similarly, in API, we shouldn't send whatever we fetches from database to the API clients. Because if you return a model as API response, the whole model object data will be exposed to the client side. We also might need to add some additional data or reform it from time to time. So basically we need something to transform the data before we can send it to the client side. We can say transformer is like view for the APIs. Now the question is how do we transform? While preparing for this talk, I asked fellow Laravel developers in my network to share their opinions about how they prefer to handle API responses in Laravel. It was kind of obvious that most of them prefers the eloquent API resources, but a few also suggested other options like Fractal. So I'll try to discuss on both of these topics and their pros and cons. Eloquent API resources is the most popular choice among Laravel developers. Firstly, because it's provided as default by Laravel. Secondly, it's pretty easy to use. You have a model which requires transformation. Just create a resource class for that model and define an array to represent the data for that model. It's simple as that. You can even transform the list of that resource without doing anything else. There is a default collection method in every resource classes. Pretty neat, right? You can also load relationship data along with the resource if needed. You would even get the pagination data by default if you use the paginated collection. That means you can use your eloquent models as you generally do and doesn't need to think much about the transformation for the API side. This way, you can easily reuse your business logic to serve both the web content and the API. This is really useful in most of the cases when we build RESTful API and full stack applications. Data transformation will not always be straightforward, right? We might need to add conditional data to our resources and these conditions can be complex based on the requirements. 
several helpful methods like when, when null, when not null, when appended, merge when, merge unless are provided by Laravel to handle different types of conditions. Similarly, we can load conditional relationships as well. There are methods like when loaded, when counted, when pivot loaded, etc. to manage that. These methods also help you to only process the eagerly loaded data to avoid n plus 1 query problem. You can also set custom response headers or custom metadata in eloquent API resources. Here is an interesting fact. Did you know that you can transform any object using eloquent API resources? You might be thinking, oh, wait, what? We can only use eloquent models. I was surprised too. If I'm not wrong, I think it was a limitation of eloquent API resources at the very beginning, but not anymore. Now you can transform any object using eloquent API resources. The trick is you just need to create a resource class extending the JSON resource class and pass the object you want to transform. Here is a simple example of creating a date time resource class for carbon instances. So if we can do all these things in eloquent API resources, why do we need anything else? Well, REST is an architectural guideline. There are several specifications that provides a structure to represent RESTful resources. Some of these specifications proposes not only to return the resource itself, but also embedding related resources and listing related links to other resources. HAL and JSON API is good example of that kind of specifications. These specifications might look a bit complex in nature because they actually are, but they have some benefits. For example, in these specifications, client can select easily what related resources they want from a compound object resource or only which fields should be included. It also contains links to the related resources that can be used to fetch or update any of these resources. This makes the overall API more discoverable from the client side. Think about just like regular websites. We can follow the links on the web page, what we can do next from the current page. So in this way, the API will be self-traversable and discoverable as well. Whether you need to follow these specifications or not, that's completely another discussion. But if you decided to do it, then using eloquent API resources might be a little bit tricky. In that case, transformer libraries like Fractal can be a better choice. Fractal supports different kinds of data formation to provide different specifications. These are known as serializers. So there are two things here, transformers and serializers. Transformers define how each of your model or resource would be structured, what data they will expose, and serializers decide how to wrap the final response to follow the API specification. In Fractal, you can use a default serializer or can select the serializer in runtime. Maybe not very common in day-to-day -day cases, but you can do that if you need. Fractal supports HAL and JSON API by default, but also allows custom serialization. This is really useful if you need complete flexibility over your serialization logic. In one of our projects, we had requirements of some complex resource like an employee profile where it can include different set of related data in different scenarios. That means from a list of available data for employee profile, we could easily decide what portion of data we need on that specific case. We used Fractal in that project to gain this flexibility and it worked well. In some cases, you might prefer to use Database Query Builder to gain performance benefits on your APIs. Or you need to prepare complex analytics data from your data sources and return them as API response. In these cases, transformers like Fractal can help a lot. One thing to keep in mind, if you decided to go with Fractal, consider using this wrapper package from the awesome guys from Spashi. This will make your life easier and you can sleep better at night. So, which one is better? Like everything else in software engineering, it depends. In short, eloquent API resources is easy to use, covers most of the scenarios, 
and it has first party support from the Laravel. So overall this might be suitable for most of the cases. But if you really need to follow specifications like HAL or JSON API or need to manage complex data structures and formats in API response, then Fractal might be better. Whatever you do, just make sure to build APIs you won't hate. That's all for now. Let me know what you liked or disliked about this session and I'll try to improve on the next one. Thanks for watching.